bit since I've checked in with you, hasn't it? I'm sorry about that. Uh, I just, I got sick and it still hasn't quite gone away, but it's kind of taking a little while. Um, a lot longer than I'm used to. Uh, I haven't gone to see any of those people with white coats because, you know, the lab coat people, I don't really, I just don't do that. And um, so I'm sure had I done that, there'd have been something, you know, pharmaceutical or whatever. Uh, but I'm not interested in any of that. My body needs to get rid of whatever it is that it's fighting. Um, and it needs to get to the root of it and not a cover up band aid thing. So um, I'm okay. And I'm alive. Uh, I cannot say that for everybody. And uh, so I'm thankful. I'm thankful that the Lord has given me another day. And I want to use that this opportunity to um, voice myself. Because I don't know who actually listens. But I'm sure that it's not always truthers or those that question the narrative and I want you all to understand um, that we are at war whether you like to admit it or not uh, it is happening and it's there's been um, silent weapons for quiet wars launched against us very recently here and um, it's something that is real concerning. And I'm not just talking about our normal airbrushing that goes on um, or the vitamin dumps or, you know, anything like that. I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about um, the issues of um, suddenly um, not having tracks underneath significant um wheels we'll say and and these these you know wheels with no tracks have sensitive materials um being relocated um that can't be relocated because they are now dispersed amongst the area where the tracks were missing I hope everybody understands what I'm trying to say without saying it outright because we do know that, um, you know, they like to um, give us a hard time about things and so I like to kind of voice the truth without being direct um, and so what we have here is um, many of these events happening across the U.S. There's a goat. I have never seen a goat here before. There's some horses, though. I don't know if you can see all that. It's a pretty cool little, like, like I said, you can have um, anything you want as far as animals are concerned. You just have to pay the zoning fees and whatnot. So anyway, back to my original topic. Um, we're going to have to start taking care of ourselves at a, at a molecular level as best as we can. And um, organic stuff, though it may actually be grown organically, um, we have this immense uh, pollution problem, we'll call it, and um, this problem makes most things not really organic, um, and so we have got to have a lot of faith these days in our Creator, and, um, and, and 
understand that we have to pray over everything that we are going to consume because no amount of filters or whatever you can think of um, may actually not provide enough coverage for what we are putting into our bodies, you know, from these events that have been happening throughout the United States and other places. Um, so, so, <laughs> remember that God is bigger than the boogeyman, and we're not going to be able to protect ourselves 100% from man-made stuff, and so we've got to put our faith in God and let God be bigger than them, because, um, As long as we have faith, we have to have faith, a lot of faith, these end times. Um, and I want you all to understand that he loves us. And in, and, and in our faith, he can protect us, lead us, and guide us. Because he really ultimately doesn't want for anyone to perish. He wants everybody to understand and know the truth. And... Um, and I'm going to put a shameless plug in. I found an organic wholesale, a wholesale organic wellness um, distributor. And I became a member of it. And if you would like to become a member too, just hit the link that's going to be down in the description box. Um, it's like I said, it's wholesale. So you don't have to become a member. However, uh, members do save a lot more than non-members um, and it is organic wellness supplements um, and they seem to work just fine like I said we don't know if everything or anything is organic anymore but at least we can have a, a nice head start and um, and uh, save money at the same time you know um, I love you all and I want you to know that God loves you too, um, and he wants the best for you. So, let's be thankful for a new day. Let's be thankful, thankful for eyes to see and ears to hear. And let's be thankful that um, God, God is merciful and loving and will protect his children, okay? With all of that being said, I know it's a big, huge information dump. Um, I love you all, and thanks for putting up with me this long. And make sure you do, you give some love back to God, because you know you gotta tell Him that you love Him, just like you show Him. Um, and so both coincide with each other. Give some love back to God by being loving and kind to others. <laughs> I love you all and stay blessed.